I think uh, this is already happening. I mean, this has happened before. Uh, I mean, there is a president here. Um, and Crimea was occupied first and then annexed by Russia. And the lack of uh, reaction by, by West, uh, I think, has encouraged Russia to uh, continue with this policy. And I think, the, unfortunately, Donbass region is the next. Uh, and the Russia will... Uh, uh, will annex the, those regions in the coming uh, months. And I think that will be also part of uh, uh, negotiations and the part of the agreement between Ukraine and, uh, and uh, Russia. And already Zelensky has um, agreed or has uh, made it official that he is ready to discuss the Donbass issue with Russia. Turkey has a unique uh, position here, and uh, and both our allies in the West, also Russia and Ukraine, they do acknowledge the, the Turkey's position, and uh, Turkey can facilitate um, uh, a peace deal uh, between Russia and the Ukraine, and and these efforts, uh, I think, they are also very much appreciated by by all actors. That's why all the uh, all these negotiations are happening in Istanbul now. Of course, the, the, there won't be a quick solution to this problem, but this is only the beginning of the, this process and we will see more negotiations no, more uh, uh, um, uh, of, the, of these negotiations in the Istanbul I think in the coming weeks what Ukraine asks is uh, the security guarantees from the uh, from U United Nations Security Council members plus uh, Turkey Germany and Italy uh, so these countries will uh, uh, will be the guarantors of a Ukrainian uh, Ukraine uh, territory, territory and Ukraine independence. Um, <clears throat> and uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, and then Ukraine will be a neutral country, uh, like uh, Austria. Uh, as you know, Austria is also a neutral country uh, after the Second World War. And uh, Austria is not part of um, uh, NATO, but Austria has joined European Union. So there is a possibility that Russia also may accept that Ukraine stays out of uh, military alliances but in the, in, the, in the future may join the European Union. So there are also some indications of this coming from Russia, uh, so statements. Uh, but of course, this is only the beginning of all these uh, negotiations. It's a very complex, I think it will be a very complex deal uh, between Russia and Ukraine. And of course, Ukraine is not alone in this. Uh, uh, it has the uh, backing of the uh, Western powers, and they have to also agree uh, on, this, on these terms. Uh, it cannot be stopped now. Uh, it all depends uh, uh, on, a, on a ceasefire. Be, uh, without a ceasefire, uh, more and more refugees will move. Uh, they will be they will be moving to Europe. But also, there are millions of in, internally displaced people in, in inside Ukraine. Uh, so, unfortunately, this is the uh, this is a byproduct of this war, and this, this is ine inevitable. Uh, so, uh, but the humanitarian corridors are uh, really. Uh, a must. Uh, there, there has to be an agreement between Russia and uh, Ukraine, especially Mariupol. Uh, uh, there are thousands of uh, civilians uh, uh, trapped in, in Mariupol, and they have to leave the, the, the Mariupol uh, as soon as possible. Uh, but unfortunately, we also see from Russian history, uh, they are not really much, very much concerned about, uh, you know, um, uh, civilians. Uh, we have seen this time and again in, in, in Aleppo, in Syria, in Grozny, in Chechnya. So uh, unfortunately, this is the tradition of the Russians. So, But I think there has to be more pressure on, on the Russian side to open this corridor. And also, I think Turkey can play a big role in here and Turkey's good relations with Russia and especially President Erdogan's uh, um, uh, uh, relation with the, uh, President Putin. Maybe uh, President Erdogan can convince uh, President Putin to open this humanitarian corridor, uh, at least to you know uh, to uh, to save uh, more lives, uh, especially from Mariupol. President Putin can manage all these problems, but uh, in the uh, in the midterm and the lo long term, uh, he will have lots of problems, uh, especially uh, the economic uh, impact of all these sanctions. And, uh, and the, the casualties of the war, uh, Russia has lost uh, thousands of soldiers in Ukraine. The exact numbers are not known. But uh, I think in the midterm and the long term, we will see more uh, um, and more problems in Russia. And uh, uh, But in the short uh, term, I think, uh, I think Mr. Uh, Putin can manage all these problems uh, because he has uh, been in, uh, running the country for about 20 years now. So he's a very powerful political actor in Russia.